Third time's a charm? Ah, third, fourth, fourth time's a charm? No, third time. Third, third time's third, a charm. Third time. Get it right. What have you done this time? He has... Nothing. He's replaced. Oh, see, it's 17 turn motors. Replaced no. it with a higher RPM motor and you've fitted a prop with a I reverse fit, pitch. I will, yeah, a reverse pitch prop. So, so um... Because the was, gearbox was... Like, the gearbox was reversing reversing it so that my, my motor was spinning in reverse quicker so I just got a reverse pitch prop. Yeah. So that should key it, hopefully. Hopefully. This is where uh, he gets massively disappointed. No. Is this the same motor you ran last time? No. It is, but it spins quite a lot slower uh, one way than the other. Right. So it didn't sound like that when we were testing it today. Shit. Still running nickel metal hydride? Yes, because Michael wasn't going to be generous and give me a label. That's not even true. It's true. Not, even, not even close to true. It's, it's not true. even true. No, it's no true at all. No, it's true. He's gonna be so good if this doesn't work. Please fall. Please fall. Sounds rapid, man. <laughs> no. Right, remember to kick it past the weeds so you don't get your new. Have you tightened your new prop enough? Hi. It's not the nicest day today. It's a bit overcast, but it'll do. Oh, it's a bit better. It's still not very fast. <laughs> what do you think? It still needs to, it is a lot better, but it needs to... Uh, it's almost playing in there, see that? Maybe as quick as yours today. No, mine will be fine. It's definitely better. Miles better. Miles better. It's actually leaving a wake behind it now. Before, last time the wake was overtaking it. <laughs> I think we need a quicker motor again because there's not really any. Sigh, other... Matthew, would you make up your mind? Well, you can't say that. We don't know if this motor's spinning up to full RPM, do we? Yeah. So, what we need to do is give it a run and see what the temperatures are like afterwards because it might be that it's overgeared. I don't think it will be. I know, because everything I've been in so far, the motor's been cold and it's not, not getting hot at all. Yeah, my motor's getting hot now, actually. But that's only not because it's overgeared, but because the HBS Saturn. 35 turn I've got in there is a piece of junk. <laughs> it's already beginning to go a little bit. Right, I'm going to put mine in the water also and join you. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Yeah, I'll bring you in. Oh no. That's alright, I'll, I'll, I'll sort it. I'll sort it. Reverse. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Ah, yes, chocolate hat. Huh? Let's see how mine compares. My twitch is a lot. I still got the legs on you. Yeah. That, that seems to be quicker. What? It seems to be quicker with that. Um, with that, is. that battery, I think so. So just. But at least it's enjoyable now. Like, you know, just to let you know. People on YouTube, I am using a, a lipo this time. I've been using nickel metal hydrides before, just to see if I can get a little bit more sort of urgency to it. It's nothing. It's not a huge difference, but I think it's got a little bit more gap and go. It certainly seems to be more eager, doesn't it? That was probably the speed of mine last time, eh? Yeah. I right, Matthews is definitely improved. So that was the mind. speed of it last time compared to. It's probably twice the speed. I would say, yeah. Do you like your old Atlas 540? Yeah, I think it's great. I mean, it's still, I think it's still it's kind of half planing. It needs to get up a bit more. A little bit more, yeah. But yeah, it's nice and stable. I'm not sure if I'd want more speed out of mine. Probably not, it's pretty good. Yeah, I don't want it to be unrealistic. No, I like it realistic. Yeah. So we are in the same pond as last time. Just different size. Just different, different. different. Did you drive your boat further away so people can actually hear what we're saying? Because your boat's a bloody racket. We still don't know why exactly why Matthew's been so loud. Because you've tried to quiet it down, haven't you? I've put foam underneath the motor and everything to try and stop the resonating. But I don't think it's the motor, I think it's the joints. Because he's got two or three different sort of joint knuckles on, on his uh, prop. From, sorry, down the shaft from the 
from the motor to the, down the prop shaft to the prop itself, there's several joints. Yeah, you, you have a straight drive, yeah. Straight so drive. I think that's, that's probably where half the noise is coming from. Oh, it will be. The straight drive did cause me a lot of issues with uh, getting hearing correct though. Well, it's not, your boat isn't so embarrassing now. No, it was embarrassing before. The tongue's tighter now as well, eh? Because it's more up in the brain. Definitely tongue's tighter. Yeah, because it's... Yeah, yeah. So, how happy are you? I'm, I'm really happy with that. I'm, I'm more, a lot more pleased because I thought I was getting nowhere with it. But, yeah. It's not, um. There's still some work to be done though, yeah, I assume. It, needs to, ah, it still needs to get quicker, because that's where all the problems are. I need it to get quicker so that the front end comes up, and that'll help it turn tighter and reduce drag. Yeah, so. yeah, it will. But yeah, but I mean... The old Atlas 540, yeah. which is a 1992, I believe. Um, it came with two mechanical speed controllers, two wiper arms, and... Or no, was it one big one, actually? Sorry, it was two, but running off of two batteries with two connectors because back in the day, the nickel cadmium batteries didn't really have much in terms of capacity, so to get a longer run times, you wire two of them. But uh, we've obviously ditched that for the e-tronics. Uh, what's it, WP, ESC? Yeah. Probe WP, waterproof, life and compatible. We're both using the same ESC, but you're now using an e-tronic 17 turn motor and I'm using an HPI 35 turn. And you see the difference in motors, like the his motor should be much quicker because of the gearing issues. Yeah, it's got the gearing, it really, really under gears everything. Yeah, your boat, your boat, because he's got a reducer gearbox and mine's a straight drive. Very different setups. There you are. But you're definitely getting there, that's a lot better. better. What is, what is the, the turn limit on the speed control? Do you know? Uh, is that a 15? I think it's something like a 15. No, was it a 12? It was a... it's, it's around that ballpark. I can't remember what it is exactly, but it's around maybe, that ballpark. Maybe a 15 turn would probably do it. Well, I'm not sure how big a difference between a 15 and a 17 is, really. You could try it. I mean, I would, I would, I generally go one turn above the ESC, so... If it's a 12 turn limit, I usually put a 13 turn motor, no lower, because I've had issues with an Eco 27 in the past, which could take a 27... Uh, turned motor, but it didn't handle it properly at all. Yeah. And um, that was a, an M-Tronics, and I really like M-Tronics stuff. So, you know, I wouldn't say, oh, it's just because it's an Eco 27. Yeah, it's much better though. Really Mine still works better. It's much nicer. Oh, get in the way. <laughs> Right, so with that, I think you're all right, yeah? I'm all Relatively right. well, happy. On, on the way to making it perfect. Yeah, you're getting there. And I'm uh, I'm actually dying to go and use the buggies at the skate park, so I'm going to sign off now. But thanks for watching. And uh, I've never done this before, because I don't generally do this sort of thing, but if you like the video, click that subscribe button. <laughs> Fishing for subscriptions, oh dear. I'm one of them now, I'm one of them. Right guys, see you later, thank you.